welcome back to the Inspired Entrepreneur with Heather Hope. Hey guys, welcome back. This is Heather Hope with the Inspired Entrepreneur. Happy Wednesday, January 6, 2020. How are you doing today? Okay, I am doing wonderfully. How is your new year so far? So far, mine has been really good. Really, really good. Let me know in the comment section below how your year, how your first week of the first of this year is going for you. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Heather Hope. Again, <laughs> I teach the law of attraction and I wrote a book called The Inspired Entrepreneur. If you don't have your copy yet, the link is down below. You can get it on Kindle or you can get it um, shipped to you. It's a 400 page book. It's a beautiful book. I love it. Um, it's it's great to have you on your desk or on your bookshelf. Flip to it and the perfect message from source will appear. It's it's pretty incredible. One of my um, uh, one of my clients I had it on one of her lives last week and she was having people um, give her numbers like one through 366 to receive a message. And so she was flipping through, um, and reading, reading the messages to, um, people on her live. And she said it was the perfect book for that. I'm like, yeah, I know it's pretty cool. Okay. So <laughs> January 6th, it's another short one. You always have to follow the strong impulses you have. <laughs> you always have to follow the strong impulses you have. Now, see, I have, okay, so one of the things, if you listen to me, um, once in a while I talk about this, and it's something that I don't think Abraham ever really dives into. Um, it's, well, okay, so we're always, you're always in a receiving mode, right? It's either for good or for not so great, right? always in a receiving mode. So your mood determines what you are receiving. So if you're in a good mood, good, you know, happy, uplifted mood, you're receiving good stuff. You're receiving messages from your, from your broader self, your broader self that can see everything. You're receiving messages from source. Um, and it's the thoughts that pop in your head. It's just thoughts just thoughts, you're manifesting thoughts, you're bringing them in and they become impulses too. So the, today's message is talking about the strong impulses. So if you have a strong feeling about something that you want to go do, or you want to do next in your business or in your life or career or whatever, if something keeps popping in your mind, you have to follow it. Now I will watch myself on a daily basis, have something come in. And, and after a few days, I may be like, Oh, yeah, that's been that's been coming in. So maybe I need to follow that. Because, you know, sometimes I'll just think of something every day, it's the same thing. And then I just kind of dismiss it. And then I eventually will be like, Hey, wait a minute, I'm supposed to be following these things. <laughs> and then I will follow through and something will work out. So but one of the things that I know for sure is that so many of the impulses for me to take action are not strong impulses. They're just a thought that pops in. And when I follow that thought through, it typically brings me a really cool manifestation. So let's talk about this. You always have to follow the strong impulses you have. So if you have a strong impulse now, you know, I guess it's up to you how, how that feels. Like if it's strong or if it's subtle or whatever it is, if you just have an impulse to do something as much as you possibly can follow through on that. Oh, follow through. So follow the impulses. Sorry, I had to interrupt the podcast for a moment. My dog had his nail stuck in his fur. Okay. So follow the impulses, um, whether they're strong or faint. Um, it's for me, you have to play this out for me. Like, so, so my, my goal every day at this point is to feel good. Like for instance, today, <laughs> today I'm recording this on Sunday and I, I kind of slipped in. It was after nine when I woke up, I took some, um, ibuprofen and some Benadryl the night before, 
because um, I wasn't, you know, feeling great. And um, so when I do that, which is rare, I tend to sleep in a little bit. So I was after nine. So I got up, I did some things, um, kind of was moody, kind of just, I was out of sorts. My internet was kind of slow and which is weird. <laughs> and so after about a couple of hours of being awake, I was dragging and I couldn't get, it was just, I was struggling with, you know, just kind of being off. So by 1130, I decided to go back to bed. I'm like, I'm going back to bed. I, I remember um, the night before I, I had heard of an Abraham. I heard Abraham to say that so often, like with electronics, when electronic is not working, you turn it off and turn it back on, right? You reboot it. And Abraham says the same thing about us. Sometimes you just need to reboot, reboot and that means take a nap and start over. And I did that. And I do that. And it, cause knowing from experience that when I do that, most of the time, I'm better. Like when I wake back up, I'm in a better mood. And then I can get more things done. Because I had some things on my to do list today that I wanted to get done to catch up on some stuff. <laughs> and if I struggle, I'm just going to struggle all day. Like, I will try my hardest to get into a good place. But that trying so hard just kind of doesn't work. And what does work is taking a nap. So I woke up, I was kind of in and out of sleeping and still a little restless with my thoughts for the first hour or so. But my dog was sleeping next to me and it was so cozy and it was nice. And I just allowed myself to, to drift off. And so I slept for two hours. So typically my naps at this point, if I go back to sleep for this reason, most of the time, I could be in bed from anywhere from one to three hours because there's a lot of hours in my day. <laughs> so I, I allow myself to do that. And more and more when I get up, I'm like ready to go. And that's exactly what happened today. I was in bed until 1.30 and then I got up and I was just like, yep, I'm good. I'm good. I jumped in the shower. I got dressed. I got ready for the day. Um, I was in a good mood. It was the reboot I needed. And then I have been so productive this afternoon and this evening doing far more, far, far more than I had originally had on my to-do list for today, just because I'm like on fire. And so <laughs> I allow myself because I know, I know when I really try hard and I'm struggling throughout the day to be in a good place, it, I'm just, my hope is that it gets better. And, it, and most of the time it doesn't. So it's like, you have to take yourself out of that, either take a nap or go do something else. And if nothing else is working, go take a nap, go lay down, go rest, meditate, do whatever you need to do, and then start over. And because I know that even though I'm taking the two, three hours to lay down, I know that when I'm, when I get back up and get into alignment, it's that alignment, that time doesn't matter. I get so much more done. So, so anyway, so going back to your impulses, you have to follow the impulses, follow what is coming to you. And if you're not in a good mood or in a good place, a good emotional place, that's, that's what comes first. Getting into a good emotional place comes first before anything. Because once you get there, then the rest is easy. Like everything else for me is just super easy to get done. And I'm just in a better, I'm just in a better mood. I'm, I've got a better outlook on life. And so, you know, that two hour nap today was a huge investment because I know that if I didn't do that, I would have struggled and had a bad day because I have those once in a while. If I'm not taking care of my mood, then I have kind of like a, an off day. And, and I try to have a lot less of those now because I know that, you know, I have this trust that if I go take a nap, go chill out, go do something totally else 
get my mind off of what it is that I want to do or thought I, you know, was trying to do, (laughs) try to be a productive person in this life, right? That it will work out. So I allow myself to do that. And in the past, you know, I, I struggled with that. I was that person that was like, no, I really want to get this done. I really, I really, really, I, I, but I'm not in a good mood and, and I will struggle all day. And now I'm like, nope, let's stop, stop struggling. Let go of the cork, right? Let it float. Okay, guys. So follow the impulses. See, I, t- I think I did train myself to do short podcasts now. So I <laughs> will see how it goes this week. Okay, guys, I'm going to let you go. Have an amazing rest of your day, and I'll be back tomorrow. Bye-bye.